All right, so we're changing out our swivel today. Um, when we we got this new Mantis Anchor over the summer, I got a comment from one of you guys, and it really got me thinking about this thing. Maybe a few comments. So the comment said that you got to be careful because these anchors set really, really well. So if the wind switched and all of a sudden the pull on the chain is from a different direction than the anchor is set on, there's no sideways play in this swivel, so that the chain might be coming over from here, pulling this swivel this way, this anchor set in this direction, and it could blow apart the swivel, um, which made a lot of sense to me. And, and I thought about it a little bit, and, and one of the solutions would be to put a small, a short length of chain between here and the anchor. That way, when this pulled in this direction, it would just bend the chain that was shackled on, and the swivel would be in the direction of of pull um, but this swivel is getting a little old and we decided to change it out anyway so we're changing it with this mantis swivel which doesn't require that length of chain because I'm trying not to drop any parts in the water first off look at this monster shackle it comes with. This is their, they have three size swivels. This is a medium size, I believe. So. So the way this swivel works is that this collar goes on the chain, the chain comes through it, and then the, the chain link, and you guys will see this when I do it, the chain link will go into here, and then this pin will hold it in place, and then we'll put this swivel back on, uh, this collar back on, and then these pieces will go here, the collar screws onto here, and that locks that pin in place, and then we'll, we'll seize it with some stainless steel uh, seizing wire, and then this shackle will actually go through the shank of the anchor and come out like that and then go through here, and then we'll also seize this with a stainless steel seizing wire. But that way, now we got a swivel, right? Because this thing, this whole thing swivels in here, right? That's what we want, so the chain doesn't get all, uh, all knotted up. And then we have, if we get a sideways pull on the anchor, the shackle just bends. I mean, this shackle just kind of swivels inside the anchor shank, just like that. We don't have to worry about our swivel breaking or exploding when we got a side load on it. This says S25 slash 16 dash 3 inch. So it's 3 inch. It says, <laughs> I 
I'm pretty, UBS, I'm pretty sure that's ultimate braking strength is 9.8 T, 9.8 tons, I think. And WLL, working load limit is 2 T, so probably 2 tons. That's crazy, 4,000 pound working load limit. So the directions said to wrap the two halves of the swivel with that Teflon tape, which uh, which came with this, uh, before we could put the collar on to hold. It said to hold the two halves together, and I don't know if that's the only uh, purpose of that Teflon tape, or if it's to create a little bit of a barrier or a little tighter uh, grip with this. Um, secondarily, maybe I don't know, but that came with with the uh, swivel and so did this uh, stainless steel seizing wire. It's on. It's it? <laughs> I think I did it right. Got a nice swivel. Nice freaking huge shackle. So, we're good. Another item checked off the list.